Hey, welcome to Multinet Design in the continuation of our double flats project we are working on. In the last episode, this is what we were able to create by perspective. We did a lot of work on the elevation by arranging them in this manner and cast a graphic activities around the elevations. So we did this for the original front elevation and we did this one with a gate fashion that contains the security post and every other thing that is needed. So if you want to see the way we created all these graphics contents, you will look at our content on YouTube and visit to the details step by step how we were able to arrive at this level. We were able to create the, the four, four bedroom from the scratch to this level arranges to the proper level so if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe so we do this every now and then continuously we are not stopping on this channel the fact that we have a group of people number of people who are, are able to use revit to their very best level so thanks for watching this we we'll continue so in this project what we want to do is that we want to create something solidify what I mean by that is that I want to arrange this particular project, this edifice. I want to make it to be in a proper seat so that we'll be able to present it to your clients. It's not that you are going to be sending this. Um, after we've done that one, we publish it on the PDF and we arrange it for further things before we go to rendering aspect by using Fury that we have here. So most of those things are going to be taught individually. So let's start the game of the day. So you go to the floor plan, you see what you have done, the arrangement. But one thing is that this orientation may not fit the proper page. So let us get our sheets first, right? So go to sheets. What do you need to do? You click, you right click on this, on the sheet. Then you see new sheet on this and you click on this. So you have opportunity to see a lot of uh, predefined new sheets of paper that you can work on. This is AHO. AHO is the largest size of uh, uh, architectural sheet template where you can put or any kind of template that you can put on this one is a large part that you can put as bigger as what you want to put on that position so but what i want to use is a3 but if you don't have this one if you want to use a4 you can go to load search for where you are able to keep all those uh, files in the template and make use of it so i'm not going to go there at this level so i'm using the preferred one because i have already made a lot of video concerning the template and this is the template for my own brand so this is what i want to create click on ok this will definitely come out so after you this one come out as a tip you can edit this to suit your own taste so define depend on the kind of what you are using for if you want to have a logo on your own let me quickly teach you so that i will not assume that you know it already so you click on this to customize what you want to customize click on this one and say edit the family so as you edit the family now then you'll be able to go to this editing uh, mode then start what you want to do so this is the line that you need to work with so this is the line detail so you pick up the line from here so you understand the parameter of a uh, seat you are using a4 size so what is the size of the a3 so a3 size you look at it it's going to be two, two, 297 by four four two zero so that is just the normal size of it so you don't need the di dimension at this level just for the reference purpose so when you do this one you can decide to non graph it make a graphics of what you want by inserting logo do a lot of things so what i just want to do is to just let you have a little bit of this by saying i have it here you can have some little bit of a profile column that is if you are using the vertical column for your home design pattern so i'm going to draw this one here by designing to this so i'm using annotate for that matter so click on this and say letter so you're going to use the labeling so you can use the labeling this labeling will allow you to create a lot of things by even though you are not coming to this editing mode you'll be able to do whatever you want to do so i'm going to click this one and say so for the labeling i will just draw so this is it so you have a lot of this currently applicable to this part so the name of the drawing is scale and just let me put for put scale here so i'm going to put scale so scale is here already so it might change it might not change depends on what you are using it for if you want to use it in the parameter or you can use it to do whatever you want to do. so you click ok scale will be here so you have scale to your name at this level 
so you arrange it and put it at this level so what you need to do you just try to write on it by saying click here and write at the top and say scale so this one is scale you can edit it the way you edit every other one so edit this one from here and say the the font size should be increased so just be four you can just put it that way so that is it for that particular uh, parameter so you go to create again so the label if you want to create a label you continue by putting the label so you do the next one so the next one is going to be the the building name or whatever you just feel like is okay for you so drop by design by all those things stamp it and every other things are here so all you just need to do is to click on it and make use of it for this so building name you're going to click on the building name so you say double click so the building name is going to appear then you put the building name let me see I put the building name here so push it to this position so the building name is here and then you can like leave it in that manner so at least whatsoever you want to do i'm not going to teach you detail of how to use your graphics because this is not what i have a lot of you can check all but the previous one how to create template i've done that putting logo and things like that so i just want to use as an example so after you have done with arrangement with everything you want to do just say load the project so say override the system fashion you can imagine what you have here so everything is here now so the beauty of it is arrived so that's what you do and you click on this one you rename it so name this one based on what just say this is the number this is the title sheet whatsoever you want to you can name it whatsoever you want to name it on your own so the name let's just say plan and you say okay so that is what you have here this case uh, here so if you have any scale references that you are dragging into this so let us start by dragging and drop so it is easy in revit just what you need to do is to click on this when you look at the ground floor first you click on the ground floor that is what i want to do bringing it here so as you put it here you see that this case already appear here the scale change to the one to 100 so how do you what does that mean this means that the size of the land and this it is how it will be orientated on this so if you want the scale to be reduced you change the scale by selecting it here so you can reduce the scale to 200 you see it will affect it automatically or for the annotate is going to remain so don't confuse all those are going to touch them in this tutorial so the next one you can just come back and use customize if you want to use customize you can increase it to let's say I want to increase it a bit so like uh, 1130 is of an idea so it increase the more so if you want to customize you click on customize if you want to do the predefined one you do the predefined one but for now I'm going back to that one on that is this normal scale I want to use so I have it here so what is that is the scale is not fitting into the drawing is not fitting into my uh, sheets so what do I do I need to go back you can do it here if you want to so just double click on this particular piece or you go back here but i'm going to double click so that because i want to be filming my sheet as i'm doing it so double click on it like this so as you have double double click it's already taking you back to this place originally so what you need to do here you on your crop region the crop region is what is now on so you leave it this way you only need to orientate this work region so what you click here is a click as you click here if you flip it to the right according to 90 degrees what you should do except you want to turn it uh, opposite wire opposite opposite way so if you click clockwise the thing is going to rotate in a anti-clock manner so as you do like it's not going to follow through it's going to come in anti clock way so click on this and say tap on on 90 so the 90 is already there but sometimes we may because of the nature of the number uh, lines you have the 90 might not be accurate so you type 90 and press it in. see what it did so you flip it here this is the direction in which you go according to the so what you do now is to scale this one to fit in the position so you arrange it that way so you click finish so as you do that one you can click outside and see what you have done so what you do is again you click here so that you don't i want to hide all this free you don't need to click and hide them all what you just need to do is to click the region so let everything be disappeared so it's gone now 
to shift this to the top and then here you come to this uh, property and you say the property is what you don't need title so let the, let the title disappear you go back here and remove this uh, crop region from feasibility so that is what you do and this is the way you arrange your seat on the that is the ground floor plan. so that is done you can later go back here and edit according to the way you want everything to be so let me just go back there and do something about that so what do i do i will click this is the building name which is there already so i want to bring more labor into this by clicking here and say label here so i will just click anywhere here and i will like let me say assembly name the author name the client's name official design by drawing by title so project number and the project name you put that one there so the project number is going to be the sheet number sheet name and just like click sheet name and say click ok and you put it here so that is the sheet name for you so i'm okay by this so when you click on sheet name then you lead on this so the sheet name is going to automatically change so what you have here is plan because that is what you have already name this uh, sheet to be so that is a plan and that is what is here so the name that you are going to be going to give to your so what do you do here you choose this one and change the project names so that okay this is a double double flat so it's here so the name double flat is here so what you need now is that you can now continue to create more sheets after the hold so you click here to create more sheets you don't click here to duplicate you just click on this and right click and say new sheet new sheet again you click ok so everything all those things are going to be there so this is the level flash you can change decide to change the name from here or change the name from there so go back here and change the name here and you call this one floor plan i mean ground floor plan good so it's automatically change from this so you can come here again and call this one then first floor plan so it will definitely automatically change so then you drag this plan to this position so it's there like this so you do the same way the metaphor method of the former one you click on this and say you, the crops will be feasible then you you don't need to crop it yet until you rent it it so you get it done by just make sure that you flip it to good so what you need next is to arrange it and push it so everything is at the scale 1 to 100 so you don't need to bother yourself about the scale method again or just needs to remove this one and toggle all this so this one is there again and you properly fix it into the position where it's supposed to be so double flat is it so you click here and then no title good for you so the next thing is that as you are creating the sheet number are there are coming out one after the other if you want to have the sheet number you can bring it from that labeling then you put it here and everything is done for you so the next thing i need to do is to now arrange like creating like to this sheet so that i want to arrange this elevation into this position so click here and say new click i just want to click as many as possible this time around so you do more and you do more and you do more so we have like four which can accommodate elevation so i'm starting from the number three so if you have session the proper is if you want to see the detail of what i've done one project this so that one contain everything how you can arrange your graphics as an architect you can arrange your presentation everything but this one is just like a quick reminder to those who are not yet used to this kind of the project before so what i do here is that i start with the front elevation so the front elevation with start with with gate i'm going to put it there first so i'm going to get it here now this is my first elevation which is here so i don't want this uh, crop region i will hide the crop region 
so this is what i have here so if i want my background to continue to show i can still demonstrate it from here so that is why i'm using all those things at this level so click here and say gradient so as we have done in the last step you should so you can get the gradient and put it here so it will come and that is fit into the position so from the outside seat so anytime you want to control the building here you need to keep outside the seat completely so that you'll be out of and be on the seat page so because you're having two pages here first you're having the the modeling page that is the workspace and the uh, uh, the sheet page all everything in one so that is the beauty of Revit so you do here and go and say new title good so that is done so you come to this one then you come to the elevation with gates so you and without gates so you put the second one here this one has the scale 1 to 75 you got the firmer one scale 1 to 75 the elevation is taking scale 1 to 75 so this one is without gates so you leave it like that and then you type to so so you go to the next one then which is the side so you look at the west east so you put the east here so you've already done this one so if you, if you do not like the scale you can decide to change the scale as i've said you customize this well so just change it to 75 like the every other one you click here you're going to google up the self and you click and say hide so after which you can select this one and say id category if you want to add them all together so id category and let them disappear for temporary purpose so set here and say new title so the title will be lifted and you are able to put your project here so you come to the last part which is the west so you select the west and put it here as i've told you before i don't use to bother too much when i'm doing presentation for the back elevation except i want to set it up for a profile purpose so this is what you do here and you say double click so double click now you come to this and say your orientation can as well change from here by changing to 75 it's no matter everything is still the same thing so arrange it from here from the sheet and every other thing so you click here and send the title so we're done with this one now you can't allow your drawing to be float as our region so most of the time what we do is that we click any line so we want a line to cover the sheet so it doesn't allow me that you cannot do any other line outside the sheet so you can still use all the other uh, annotated aspect and everything like here you can use so i want to do that for you for you to quickly see so I'm here, I will bring the annotated number. So I'm going to click on this detail line. Arrange this from here to this point. Good for you. So select this and change this based on what you have here. The model I'm going to change it to what? So I'm going to change it to Y. So the Y is not satisfied with me. I'm orientating them by changing the graphics of the field. So from here, I'm going to change the line width. So the line width, I want it to be more bigger. So I'm using it to that matter. So I apply it and see. So this is it. So you can copy this one, but remember the graphics is only for the page alone. The variety graphics is only for the page alone. So copying this one is going to do it's going to come with normal normal line. So you are the one that's going to be doing editing. So let's go there and do it. So let's here and say copy to clipboard. So copy to clipboard now. You come to level this and you say paste what align to the same what to the current view. So you shift it a little bit down then you go back and do the editing of a right of a right so it's not it's not easy simple because you know what you want to do so just click it and say okay so you go back you go to this one as well so you say paste and say align to current view so shift it down again to fit to the base so that's the base we want to work we are working on so you select the override graphics as well and do the same thing here by like clicking then the weight you bring it to be eight so good so the next one up with this one is going to be the same way by clicking and say modify place to the current view and start to that level and do that now if you are done with this one you can print your project and send it to a client event so how do you do that so this is what you want to do it's a quick method and fast method to do in Revit so depends on you too you can send this one to AutoCAD by modifying it but I'm not going to do that at this level just let me quickly do how you can send it and print so if you are used to the print so it has to me to do you can press ctrl p on your keyboard the dialog will appear or the same time you can come here and say file so from the file you say print so print here is the same thing in autocad you use plot so in this place you use prints to do you can export by 
to the PDF, you create PDF document from here, this is much simpler as well. So I'm just going to click, you can click on export to PDF, you can export to what? You can export to the image file of where, what do we call it? Using image animation and image other things. So all those ones are more common. It depends on the format you want to send to your client. So when you click on this image file, you click on the image, the dialog will come out for you. So you just can, you select the resolution you want to do. You want to zoom into this quick level. Select the resolution. If you want a big resolution, you set the letter time. You click on the sheets that you want to pick and you come here. So what you do is multiple. You you make sure that you toggle off this one. Then you say check all this one that is that are available for you. So this one, when you select it, you want to go to a particular position. How do you do? So where do you want it to save is what you name from this name. These are the outputs. So that's the place you want it to go and stay. So you can just click change and put it anywhere other place on your computer that is good and that is so so the same way you do this for the printing so you click on print and say print so print the, this one now you click on the print so you select this now for the printing there will be an issue with everything you want to do because if you don't know let me just quickly show you something you see that the the cover of the current may not be available to what you want to want it to be so you say close so you can imagine that this paper did not cover the whole scale fits why the reason is that you have not set the proper things on this sheet for it to be projected to that level this is just a predefined one so let us go to where you can set it up completely so that the thing will be fit to the original position so control p again at the control p you say set up this setup, yeah, you are seeing the size here. The paper is telling you, you are using A3, but the paper size is telling you A4. That is where the problem is for you. So the beginning, what you need to do is to change it to proper A3 paper. Good. So it's not finished yet. The next thing you need to do is centralize, which is okay, but you, are, you need to zoom to fit. So when you click on zoom to fit, so the place to fit is the issue for that one. So you seem to for fit. So when you seem to fit, telling you that the hundred meter, I mean hundred percent, there is the lie. So all what you just need to do is that you say centralize, make it to be centered. Then you change the value here. You can leave it at hundred. Depends on you. You go and preview. Let us go that and check that for a reference purpose. So you say close. So you can imagine. So it's hundred percent fit. Everything the line, the external line, the boundary line, they are no more there. What does that mean? It means that it has already taken over. So you need to reduce this because some A3 size are not the, are not accurately the way it's supposed to be. But that does not mean that the thing is not at the scale level. Good. So close this down and go back to Control P and set it up again for the proper work. So it's already on the landscape. You don't need to change it to uh, uh, portrait. It is not necessary. So what you need here is to reduce this. What am I going to do? I'm going to just reduce this to 98% because it's already covered. So sometimes if it's normal reducing, you increase the scale. So I'm reducing that. I say okay. This one is saying no. Just say no. You just want to use it for temporary purpose. So the next thing you see, so I don't want to be seeing this message again. So can you see? You now see the property line. So the boundary line border line and every other lines are not available so this is what i'm talking about so you have this one particularly to use for yourself so this is the name you rename it before you print and that is what you need to do so let us quickly do one or two things so this one is what this is elevation so you rename it you can rename it from here and you say you know, front front elevation so you leave that, so you're going to change automatically the same thing here, you can rename them if I, without the phone coming here, so you do the same thing here, front, front, so just put normal front there, so here you just click on this and say side one, or right side, right side, elevation, so you click OK. Then the second one is the left side elevation. You name it just left side elevation. So these are the work that you have done. Sending it now. So what do you need to do is to send it to PDF and see how far it is. So you control P again. 
so you go here and it's the setup since setup you can just normally check whether the setup is okay the color if you want to use color but if you don't you just use black line so it's okay for you you can just decide whatsoever you want to but according to the, the, the drawing we have been doing we have never chose any color and anything so you can just like choose color for yourself so you choose color so that those elevation come out boldly so say no so as i have done that so you select multiple sheets because if you come come on this by doing only the current will be will be published which is not good enough so you since you have multiple sheets here you can just select multiple sheets click on the combine multiple sheets because you want them to be on a single document so by having uh, different sheets on them so like you have already chosen that this is what you want which is okay for you so you say preview may not be necessary but just click on select that is what i want to have here so where am i saving it so you say document document dot flash just the name that is going to be giving me but according to what i have the project the programming i have for this this is not going to be direct so this one is going to give me another set of which is going to tell me where am i going to save the work so click on this i'm going to ask you the question so the document are you saving it in the document or not so i'm going to save it on the desktop for myself and i will call it double double flats so i will say okay and then everything will be printed automatically you see the progress here one after the other at this uh, left side lower uh, region so everything is going to so 99 98 everything is completed now you can ask few your project so go back to the desktop i'm going to fill it click on the file explorer so go to desktop from here and you see the work you have done what is that and this is what is going to give to you this is double flat so click on double flat and you see your work so it depends on the <coughs> the kind of what you use to check the viewing position so you can increase the magnificence of it this is what you have here so you can see the project beautiful and things like that so design of your template depends on you have your logo have everything those are the things you need so play with everything that is what i encourage my students to do play with whatsoever you want to do if you want to even cast shadow with this one it's possible you bring the whatsoever you want to do just like play with everything and you get more the more you work on it the better you become so in the next project we are going to do proper document orientation but i'm going to put the annotation everything right for everyone that want to use you can just look at it that way follow the step the available the plan is for you to use and get it still up. so thanks for watching in this project we're not going to go further than this one i'm going to see you in the next tutorial god bless you